I'm gonna show you uh, how to fix the problems with video cards if they suddenly stop mining if your computer freezes crashes or well anything of this happen so what you do you use a software DDU Google it and it's a graphics card driver uninstaller you have to run it in a Windows uh, safe mode completely deletes all the drivers and restarts your computer after that you install the drivers manually there we go and it just installed and I have uh, 12 cards running in that machine and all of all of them 12 apparently installed let's see yep one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so let's restart the computer that's perfectly fine take quite a bit of time for it to load the first time One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cards connected to the same motherboard. And that's AS Rock H110 Pro BTC Plus. Okay, here we go. After it loads, I have to give it enough time. I usually give it anywhere between 10 to 15, 20 minutes for it to set everything up, even though it will show as the cards are already installed and working. Trust me, they are not. And just do make sure you do not start the miner right now because it's gonna crash the whole system since the drivers are not completely in or on whichever you might call it so just relax and wait give it enough time so as I said wait for 15 to 20 minutes it's probably about safe time it might restart restart itself one more time after it is all done the screen might go off by itself as well because every time it works on the driver the screen might go black that's perfectly fine and it might go black as many times as cards you have so just be patient once all this is done yeah then you restart the computer one more time and then you can start the miner of your choice thanks for watching subscribe Today I'm going to show you how to reinstall GPU graphics card drivers the best efficient way. Well, hold on, let me find the keyboard that corresponds to this computer. <laughs> okay, you Google for DDU. Display Driver Uninstaller 
very nice piece of software we download it I already probably have it but still just in case show it folder yep there it is okay to get it started we have to restart in safe mode to get restarted in safe mode you hit shift on the keyboard press power and press restart and then keep holding the shift until you see this screen on this screen you select troubleshoot advanced options startup settings restart right now the computer is going to restart and ask us if we want to start in a safe mode okay here we go press F404 okay here we go okay we do have it in safe mode with no internet which is nice so we go back to our downloads make sure to run an installer as an administrator clean and restart that's what we need so just wait right now until it finishes what it's doing and it's going to restart the computer for you In this rig I have only four water-cooled GPUs so uh -huh. I didn't really like that that might be an issue with one of the cords well we'll find that out in a moment so let's see okay one two three four drivers that are not installed so we go ahead and uh, hold on, let me see if I okay here we go I gotta stop that. And temporarily disable miner and watcher. Otherwise they can cause some problems. select custom since you can just in case 
it's never too much. Okay, here we go. I finally got it figured out. I had one of the cards connected to the power supply which did not belong to this system. That was perfectly fine when I did the other rigs, but for some reason uh, it was not fine this time. Maybe the remaining power that came from that power supply was not enough to run one of these cards. That's why it was giving me an, an error. So I switched to the same power supply as uh, runs this motherboard and the rest of the cords and uh, looks like this miner started working perfectly let's give it a try one more time Okay, so that's all what it was. It was not enough power for the cord. The miner was giving me overclock problem, saying that the car check cards overclocking, this and this. So the card was just not getting enough power. Well, I also just in case switched the PCI slot, but I don't think it did anything because I switched it before a few times. And until I switched the power, it was still giving me the overclock issue. Okay, so that's how you reinstall the drivers completely. 
plus that's how you diagnose the the issue with the card <laughs> okay guys thanks for watching subscribe